All right, Dirt Church Sunday. Uh, back over here, my favorite little silver honey hole. Uh, working up towards an area that I was working. I've actually worked this area somewhat, and I've, I think I've hit this signal before. And it's just they got two problems in this field where uh, they think the power line's been cut years and years ago. It's been having problems over the years. And this is one of the areas my detector actually just goes bonkers no matter what you do. And, uh, Got a steady high tone, except for, you know, everything else is jumping around, except for every time I go back over, it was steady. I said, I'm digging it. Second signal. First signal was a nail. And that looks like it's going to be a decent sized piece of silver. It was in the sidewall. Let's do a reveal. Ooh, she's a half. Ooh, she's another bend. First half of the year, 62 bend. Awesome. All right, thank you, Ben. I like Big Ben. <sighs> Looks like it might be a D up there. I'll clean her up later. It's the first half of the year. Awesome, I finally got a half. Everybody else been digging halves. Rung up like a quarter, 1246, st steady, 1240. Every time I went over it, besides the numbers around it would jump, it hit 1246 on the CTX and stock coil. Absolutely awesome. It was actually only ended up being about five inches down But it's still my little sweet spot around here five six inches uh, Awesome, I'll get back to you find anything more. That's 43 for the year and my first half. Thanks for looking. Thank you. Thank you I want everybody to hear hear this. This is what it do it does over here. It's constantly. And we get some spots. Some of them are drainage holes. Like I'll put this a little closer so you hear, hear the speaker. You gotta listen. And then like I said, I'm only going after deeper stuff. Ain't like two, three inches, I ain't touching it unless it's a quarter. I won't pass up a quarter. Because if, if so, I mean, I'd have this field looking like, I don't know, bombed to death. It would just be plug after plug after plug. And I do an area and let it rest, and do an area and let it rest. This is the area we did over the winter. Right. But that's, that's how bad this is. But see, tips are still pulling out. You can see, like, there's one thing they're finding all these. Yeah, they asked me, I could have told them where half this stuff is. That's an uncoded telephone line because it's not in its proper stuff. Because I've, we've actually, where it starts back there at the building, uh, one of the guys, there was actually a uh, quarter underneath it or something just a clad quarter but it, it's not encased in anything and it's only like three inches down and luckily we didn't cut it but uh there's water lines the blue ones are water lines electrical lines these other orange ones all throughout here and they're broke a couple of them are broke and they're trying to figure it and i think the one's behind the scoreboard and the other's over here and this is just where the two areas where the detector just seen here just goes ballistic and doesn't stop the noise canceled I don't ground balance here. If I do, I lose a lot of depth. Cause every time I do, it seems like I do. So I turn it off and I always seem to do better with it off. I just deal with it. That's why I hear my headphones constantly. <laughs> Thanks for looking. I hope I can find Hey, here's one of your unexpected ones. This is why I don't pass up quarter signals. <laughs> no matter what. It's only showing four inches deep. Three, four inches, and uh, it looks like it's a 52 Washington. So got me a big Benny and a Washington. Now I need a, a dime. So we have like a, some kind of trifecta. <laughs> That's awesome, it's two silver today. That is silver 45, the, Wash the Benny was 43, I believe. No, 44, this is 45, yeah. Um, and no mint mark, but it's 52. Awesome. Oh, the bin was a D mint mark. Thanks for looking. <laughs> Love these surprises.
All right, there you see it. About six inches deep. Silver number three for the day. Oh, she's a merc. So, 46 for the year. I'm headed back to the car. As some of y'all know, I've been sick past couple days, and I really wanted to get out. My wife was mad at me, but she was leaving anyway, so heck, I snuck out. And, uh, only about here an hour and a half, and I think we'll get my fever back. <laughs> I'm dying over here. We'll get, a, get that cleaned up and get a date on her later. Uh, no mint mark. Let's see if we can shake dirt off. <laughs> Blow it off or something. It's like a 40 something. Thanks for looking. How are you looking at her? Silver number four for today. Another Merc. Uh, about 20 yards from that other one. Still on my way back to the car. Looks like it's a 43. No mint. It's a little worn. I'll take her. 47 for the year. I'm on a roll, Treasure Jack. I might get you if you don't find any more this weekend. <laughs> Thanks for looking. Happy hunting. And, all right, uh, April 27th I'll get back. to wrap up. You saw them where I was. There's all my trash. Um, I dug this. I had a new volleyball net out there, and I dug this. It's like a half inch down, just under the grass. I didn't hit any low tone right there. That was really it. And they just put that volleyball net up. And uh, I know the kids have played it a couple times. They had some festival. So I'll see if they might lost anything. But it's only there an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. There's all my clad. Uh, I got one perfect nickel signal, dead on nickel, so I dug it. And yeah, it was a nickel. Um, here's my quarters, and my dimes, there's my pennies. Uh, no Wheaties. Uh, like almost all these pennies are in the 60s, except for a couple. I mean, that's 69 there. I got 180 something, it's just because it was dead on top. And I just sounded a little higher than a uh, penny, actually. It sounded like a quarter, but it's just a penny. Um, second signal of the day. Big old Ben, a big rusty nail first, and then Big Ben. And Big Ben was in an area that I've kind of worked some of it. I don't know if it worked all the way out to where Big Ben was. Um, to be honest, I had to work that whole area again. But uh, we we been working another side or somebody else told us about. But uh, go back and work this area some more. And 62D nicked him a little bit. Only because he was sounding like a quarter, and I, I thought I was giving enough room when I was digging him out the sidewall when the pinpointer went off. I, God, I went wide. I still nicked him. <laughs> but it was awesome to see that edge sitting there like that. I knew it was going to be something really nice. Um, second half out of there, I pulled a, another big bend last year. It was outside the fenced area, this first one inside the fenced area. Second silver was the Washington. Um, so Ben and George had some buddies. Uh, he, George was, I don't know, 80 yards from Ben when I worked up a different way. Maybe, maybe 50, I don't remember. Um, wasn't close to the Ben, but it was another area and uh, where I was actually going to work, that area, and got it. And then when I was, I was only there, like I said, and I was sick, so I didn't have much energy. And on the way, I decided well, I'm gonna work my way back down towards the car, and and they got a girlfriend, and Merc. <laughs> uh, this is a uh, 44. And it's plain, it's Philadelphia Mint. And then 10 yards from that one, if 10 yards, a 42 Merc, and it's plain also. So it's uh, 44, 45, 46, and 47. There you go, 47 silvers. Ben and George double dating with the with the girls. Awesome. Thanks for look, looking, happy hunting. Everybody remember fill in your hole. And take a look at all my subscribers. Um, I do a lot of shout outs sometimes. We usually Treasure Jack, so we just got like a, we kind of started on a little competition while you Northern guys were <laughs> frozen in. We just started, I guess I started it, <laughs> joking with him. So it, it's just all fun and games. But 
everybody you know who you are river rat and all them depths of history uh metal 40 detecting um canadian treasure hunter uh texas guy in new hampshire all y'all i mean i mean there's too many I don't, I don't have them all written down and i remember you when i see you i mean detecting the bird keith k wayne and all the all the bird guys uh dr zed and joe redcorn and all them fisherman juice thanks for looking everybody check them out check all my just click on my page check my subscribers out and, and they're all good guys they all have great videos uh happy hunting fill in your holes do a good job and uh i'll see you next time thanks for oh looking. yeah and how can i forget because he's gonna say something grayson digger <laughs> rob you know you're always in my videos usually any dang way but you ain't been but um he, hopefully he'll post a video he found something nice today too he wasn't hunting with me he was hunting down by his house but grayson digger you know uh what can i say he's my hunting partner we hunt a lot together um my other buddy dave ain't been hunting in a while and uh, he's got twins coming he's trying to save up money because he just had one baby now he's got twins uh so there you go thanks for looking Have